Remember to stay hydrated. And it's that time of month again. Time to show you guys what's inside my pockets for the month of May. Let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and I hope you're having a good day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what I'm carrying for the month of May. We have a bunch of new products that I'm super ecstatic to show you guys. Let's show you guys what the first item is and that's gonna be the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus with the gray wax canvas. This is a brand new pouch in my collection. I have about three of these now and I think this one's gonna be my most favorite so far. I absolutely love the wax canvas material, whether it be the gray, blue, green, I have the green one and the gray one now, and I can tell you this is an amazing texture. It feels super robust and it takes on a really nice patina just to give it a little bit more character. I've gone ahead and customized my Mighty Pouch Plus with this red 550 paracord and a 45 phase acrylic bead. This just makes it a lot more aesthetically appealing than the stock zipper pull, so I really dig that. Then I went ahead and customized it with a bunch of Ranger eyes that are kind of color matching. The first one here is gonna be from JRW, my boy Jamie. This is his tough guy ranger eye. Next to that, we've got the crispy clean grinds one. You guys have seen this a bunch of times. We've got my everyday minimalist V1 ranger eye, and then these two heavy hitter ranger eyes. This is version one from my boy Jax EDC. He's the original founder, a really good friend of mine, and he's going to be dropping his V2 really soon here. Just a heads up, I'm also going to be dropping my V2 version, and it's going to be an all black aesthetic. I just really wanted to go for for that stealth look. Now inside the pouch, we've got a bunch of things. So as per usual, if you've seen my other pocket dump videos, I've got a hank just to separate everything and make it so it's all cushioned from the interior. And this is my custom everyday minimalist hank. Absolutely love this thing, use it on a daily basis. And if you guys are interested in grabbing one, I'll be leaving a link in the description below. Now inside the pouch, I've got a bunch of new stuff here. The first thing in the pouch is gonna be this mini bolt action pen from Big Idea Designs. I did go for the zirconia option as well as this Timascus bolt. This thing is really fun to fidget around with and it comes in on clutch every single time I go out to dinner or if I'm signing a receipt, if I'm taking down notes, this thing is just perfect and fits within the Mighty Pouch Plus flawlessly. Next to the pen, we've got the 4.7's Prion P1 Mark III. It's one of my most used flashlights ever and this thing actually sits on my nightstand most of the time. So that way, you know, when I'm getting ready for work or whatever, I can just grab this and use it in the closet or whatever. I needed to do with it without disturbing Ashley. It's got three different modes. You've got a bright and then a medium and then a super bright mode. It takes a triple A battery, has this kind of back click option and comes with a pocket clip. I think these go for about 40 to 50 bucks. If you guys are interested in grabbing one of these, I'll be leaving a link in the description below as well. Next to that, we've got our pry bar. That's gonna be from Weston Goods. They did go ahead and send this out a while back. And um, I just think this thing is super minimalistic, simple. It comes with this really nice ball opener that's built in and I typically use this end of the pry bar to attach my like camera plates. And then I did customize it a little bit with a Wesson bead and a paracord. Super minimalistic, super lightweight, and I love this thing. Sitting right behind that is gonna be this little guy here. And I think I've talked about this in other videos, but this is the titanium toothpick from Refine. This is a part of their CC1 wallet collection. So it comes normally with this pry bar as well as this toothpick. But I found that I use this thing more than anything, whether I'm cleaning out something that's gonna take a really small fine point. If I'm threading through paracord through something, if I'm like literally cleaning out my teeth, this thing works really well. It's not very sharp, so you don't have to worry about poking or stabbing yourself. It fits right within the Mighty Pouch Plus with ease. So that's one half of the pouch. Let's move on to this half. We've got a few things here. The first thing here is gonna be the Big Idea Designs tie bit bar. So this is a titanium bit bar. Basically you push up and it reveals all of these different bits here. It's spring driven. So that way, you know, you can just magnetically attach the bit and then have it sink in. This thing does have a pocket clip. I don't really use that because it goes into the pouch. But the really cool thing is not only is it a bit bar, but it is also a driver that is magnetically attached here at the top. And you can use this to screw anything from a Phillips head screw. You've got a flat head, you've got a star key, you've got a bunch of different options here. It's coming 
it on clutch a few times and I really do enjoy carrying it. If you guys wanna see a full review on this specific bit bar, let me know in the comment section below. And let's move on to the next item. That is gonna be this guy here. It's the TPT slide from Big Idea Designs. But essentially this TPT slide is a utility knife that has interchangeable blades. So if you're gonna be in a warehouse environment and you're going through a ton of boxes, then this is probably gonna be better than a knife for you. Just because you can swap out these blades really easily and then not have to worry about keeping your knife sharpened. So far this thing has been really reliable. It has a built-in pry bar as well as a bit driver. And of course it does have a pocket clip if you need that instant access. I'm still playing around with this thing. So once I get a little bit more pocket time with this, then I will give you guys my full review. And then sitting behind these two things, it's gonna be a piece of pocket art, of course. So this is gonna be from 52 Graves. This is their cookie design, as well as the cookie bead. Um, I purchased this myself and it looks pretty cool. This thing does have a glow function where it will actually glow in the dark. I did go ahead and add in the paracord and got the matching bead. It's kind of like a collector's item, a worry coin, that sort of thing. And I'm starting to collect a lot more things for the pocket art scene. So that way I can create a video for you guys about pocket art. It's kind of a rubber flex material. And I think these things went for like 30 to 50 bucks. It's a super cool item and I do really enjoy taking pictures of it. Cool, so that's everything inside the Mighty Pouch Plus. Of course, I'm gonna have to show you guys what I'm carrying for my wallet and it's still the Popov Leather five card wallet. This thing is absolutely awesome. It's starting to show a lot more patina and wear. Um, this thing is still very robust and functional. It's more so the fact that when it hits my keys and my knife, it just gives it a little bit more character. This is a fantastic $100 wallet and I can recommend this to anyone. I guess I saved the best for last and that is gonna be my knife of choice for this month. And that of course is gonna be my new favorite knife. That is the Koenig Arius. If you're a friend of mine or if you've been following me for a while now, then you probably know that I've been chasing one for a good year and a half duration now. These things are insanely hard to get. And I just wanna give a huge shout out to Urban EDC Supply for stocking these and allowing the community to actually get their hands on one. I just so happened to score it and just love this thing. It is a gen four areas with a 20 CV blade. It's super sharp. It makes some of the most amazing sounds and the action is next level. I didn't think a knife could overthrow the Benchmade Anthem. The past two years I've been doing this Benchmade Anthem has been the best knife and nothing has been able to overthrow its rank. But the Arius has done that and it is my most favorite knife of all time, hands down. I don't intend on selling this, so don't DM me or anything like that. It's gonna be staying in the collection for as long as possible. I'll be doing a full review on the Koenig Arius probably within the next couple months. I just really want to appreciate it and carry it, love it, and just overall experience the knife before I give you guys my full impressions. Aside from that, guys, we are about to break 200,000 subscribers. It's gonna be absolutely insane. I've got probably the biggest giveaway that I've ever done on this channel to date. There's gonna be like five to seven different knives. We've got like five different pens that we're giving away. We've got t-shirts, hats, and a bunch of other stuff. The grand Grand prize is gonna be a Microtech Macora, just to kind of give you guys a reference of what it is. So if you guys don't have those notification bells on, I would highly suggest that you do. That way you guys stay informed and when that video drops, you'll have the opportunity to enter. Thank you so much to all my patrons for your support. Thank you guys so much for your time today. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.